Solving quadratic equation by extracting the square roots. To use this method, you must have the knowledge of the perfect square numbers. I listed here perfect square numbers from 1 to 20. So if you extract the square root of a perfect square number, for example, square root of 25, the answer will be 5 because 25 is from 5 times 5. So that's what we're going to do in extracting the square roots in this quadratic equation. First step, let us separate the variable x squared. So we need to transpose negative 36 on the other side. So transpose negative 36. Now we only have x squared on this side equals. So negative 36, when you transpose, the sign will change. It will become positive 36. Now, we may start extracting the square root. And to do that, you will just use radical and put it on both sides. Then get the square root of each side. Square root of x squared, since x squared can be obtained by multiplying x times x, it means that the square root of x squared is just x. If you encounter something like this, square root of a variable with an exponent of 2, you may just cancel the radical and the square. Now we only have x on this side. Then get the square root of 36. Let us look at our list. 36 is over here and it's from 6 times 6. It means that the square root of 36 is 6. It's actually not only positive 6 but instead it will be positive and negative 6 because 6 times 6 is 36 and negative 6 times negative 6 is also 36. So both the positive and the negative 6 are the roots of this quadratic equation. Let us try another example. 2y squared minus 32 equals 0. First thing that you have to do, let us transpose 32 to the other side. So we'll have 2y on this side. Then transpose this one. It will become positive 32. And since we still have a numerical coefficient on this side, we need to divide both sides by 2 to cancel it. Over 2, over 2. So we can cancel this numerical coefficient. Now, we only have y squared equals 32 divided by 2 will give you 16. Okay, we may now extract the square root of both sides. So again, the square root of the variable with an exponent of 2, pwede natin i-cancel lang yan. Cancel the radical and the exponent. Now we only have y on this side. And then, square root of 16. So here in the list, we have 16 here. And it's from 4 times 4. So the answer will be positive and negative 4. So the answer is y is equal to positive and negative 4. Another one, we have here 9b squared minus 49 equals 0. Let us copy 9b squared. Then transpose negative 49 on this side. It will become positive 49. And since we still have a numerical coefficient on this side, we may cancel it by dividing both sides by 9. Cancel 9. So we only have b squared on this side equals... 49 over 9, you cannot have a whole number if you divide 49 by 9. So we may just leave it as that, 49 over 9. So we may now start extracting the square root. Radical, another radical here. Okay, so cancel radical, now we only have b on this side. And let us get the square root of 49. Square root of 49 is 7, that is from 7 times 7. And square root of 9 is 3. That's from 3 times 3. So therefore, your answer will be positive and negative 7 over 3. That is already the answer. How about this one? 3x squared minus 75 equals 0. So separate negative 75. We may write 3x squared on this side and then transpose negative 75 it will become positive 75 on the other side then remove the numerical coefficient by dividing both sides by 3 cancel 3 now we only have x squared on this side 
Then divide 75 divided by 3, that's 25. And extract the square root. So square root of x squared, you may cancel the radical and the exponent. Now we only have x. And on the other side, square root of 25, so that is from 5 times 5. Therefore, your answer will be positive and negative 5. How about this one? Since the binomial is enclosed by parentheses with an exponent of 2, we cannot transpose negative 3 on the other side. Instead, we may start extracting the square root immediately. So let us get the square root of both sides. Since we are getting the square root of a square binomial, we may just cancel the radical and the exponent of 2. So now we only have m minus 3 on this side. Then get the square root of 225. So where is 225? This one. Square root of 225 is equal to positive and negative 15. But this is not yet the answer. Since we still have a term here, which is negative 3, we need to transpose this on the other side. So it will become m here, then transpose negative 3 on the other side. Negative 3 will become positive 3. Then let us copy plus and minus 15. Then since we have two operations here, we may separate the two. Copy first m is equal to 3 and then get the positive sign plus 15. On the other side, it will be m is equal to 3, get the negative sign, so minus 15. Again, we just separate the positive and negative 15. Positive 15 here and negative 15 on this side. Then you may now get the answer. m is equal to 3 plus 15, that's 18. And here, m is equal to 3 minus 15, that will be negative 12. So the roots are 18 and negative 12.